Hello, in this video, quick tip, I'm going to show you what is changed if you are using the latest version of WordPress when this video was made. So uh, if you scroll down on the right corner, I am now using version 4.7.4. And in this versions, it has the new feature of rel attribute that you almost uh, do not notice if you are used to use the visual tab over here. So what I mean is, let's say now I have my post here on my um, post editor and I have my title and this is the post and I'm on my visual tab. So let's say in these words, I'm going to use a link. So I'm going to select these words and then add or edit link or using the keyboard shortcut with common K and this will provide you an input box where you can type or paste the URL where you want this words link to. So for example, I'm going to use Google. And then in the cheer icon, in the link options, click that. And I want these links to open in a new tab. Therefore, I'm going to check on the open link in a new tab. And then I'm going to click on update. So it seems that nothing different here with the previous versions, but uh, it is actually different. So we are now in visual tab to see the different. You can go to the text tab. And as you can see, this version has added this rel attribute in your link. Whenever you want to open the link in a new tab, it adds the rel attribute, no opener, no referrer. In this video, we are not going to argue whether this is good or not for your website. This is your preference. And in case you want to disable this new feature in the latest version of WordPress uh, 2, I mean 4.7.4, then what you're going to do is you're going to disable this. So in case you want to disable this, you need to add some uh, code in your functions.php of the active theme. So what I did try is actually I did delete this manually and then I found out what's next. Is it then deleted or is it then uh, still there? So let's click on save draft for now. Now this rel attribute seems to be fixed for now because you are in the text tab. But watch what will happen. If I'm going now to switch to the visual tab and then I go again to the text tab to check and that link is added automatically over there even if we did delete this manually. And in case you want to disable this site-wide, you may want to, uh, you may find this method is just distressing because once you switch from the visual to the text tab, vice and versa, and you will have this rel uh, attribute comes back to this no opener and no refer uh, attribute. So now if you decide to disable this, what you're going to do is you're going to add some code in your functions.php of the active theme. So if you know what kind of theme that you are using now, it's very helpful. So you can uh, immediately go to your uh, theme functions.php. But if you are not sure what the theme you are using right now, you can always go to appearance and themes. So right here, the first theme should be the active theme. You can also look on the theme details and you see that it has the current theme, which is called 2017 child. So once we know what theme we are using, let's close that. And then we are going to uh, go to appearance and then editor. So now in the editor screen, we see edit themes and the name of the theme and the name of the file. We also have the select theme to edit. Make sure that in the drop down menu, our current theme is selected. If not, you can also look in the drop down menu and look where the current theme of your website is. Because mine is already selected, then I go to this uh, box, which now says editing this code is highly discouraged. Proceed with caution. Yes, I want to proceed. Click on proceed button. What we need is not the style.css, but theme functions, which is called functions.php. Click that. 
and again I want to proceed this and now we are seeing the functions.php now every theme is different or has different content of functions.php so, so we will have to be carefully editing this functions.php now I'm suggesting that you going to copy all of this content and then paste it somewhere in your text editor in case you want to switch back to the old uh, functions.php so in this case I know which one is closing of the PHP coding blocks so uh, I'm going to paste the code between this curly bracket and then this closing PHP block so I'm going to uh, hit enter one time so right before this a closing block I'm going to paste in this code and I'm going to provide you the code under uh, this video in the video descriptions so this is the code that I found in wordpress.org support forum I'm going to give you also the link below this video I also add this for ourselves so we know that this functions is going to disable the rel no referral and no opener and then this is the filter and then the functions so once we done that and then we're going to click on update file now file edited successfully now I do not hope that you fail updating your functions.php of your theme but if you uh, make some mistakes do not be afraid just log into your cPanel or access your WordPress files with FTP client and then uh, edit the text that you copy from your text editor inside functions.php of your current theme and then log in again to your dashboard and you will be able to log in normally so now I'm going to check the site if my site still works properly and yes it is still working properly and let me close that and then uh, the next is we want to test whether this will work with our post or not so let's go to the post all post and then I'm going to visual tab then I'm going to add some um, link another link here and again then again link options and I want to open this link in a new tab update it and then to check it go to the text tab and you see that this new link has now no referer or no rel attribute that WordPress 4.7.4 add automatically whenever you want to open a link in a new tab with your text editor so I hope this video will help you and thank you so much for watching and take care of yourself see you in the next video goodbye